Hi everybody, this is Gary and today's topic is what makes fruits so delicious. When you're choosing berries at the grocery store, what attracts you to them? The color? Maybe it's the aroma. But what keeps you coming back for more? It's how it tastes or its flavor. Flavor is a combination of chemicals that produce that distinctive taste of the fruit. There are four major components to flavor. Sweetness, tartness, aroma, or what we call the aromatics, and finally, bitterness. The aromatics, for instance, are those things that we pick up with our nose, and we also pick up the flavors through our taste. These can vary between fruits. For instance, if I smell these blueberries here, nothing. But if I pick up these strawberries, even though they're not perfectly ripe, mm, there's a nice aroma. And that really adds to your perception of flavor. Two really important components are sweetness and tartness. And of course, depending on what fruit we're talking about, and even within the cultivar, those can vary. Also, as I mentioned, another component is bitterness. Although it's not a primary component in strawberries, raspberries, and blackberries. Of course, bitterness in berries is rather undesirable. But I will say that people's ability to detect bitterness in fruits does also vary. One of the things that fruit breeders do is they remove the component of bitterness when they're developing new cultivars. As I mentioned earlier, the aromatics, or what we call the aroma, plays a major role in how you perceive flavor. One of the things that you can do is try this. I'm going to take a strawberry and I'm going to taste it. Now first, I'm going to cut it in half and taste it just regularly. Not great flavor, but we'll talk about that later. Now what I'm going to do is hold my nose and taste it. Now, when I held my nose and tasted it, I could perceive tartness. And it is a little bit on the tart side, but if I didn't already have a mental image of what the texture was, I really could not have told you that I was eating a strawberry. Let's try it with raspberry. Now I know what a raspberry tastes like, so I'm just gonna hold my nose and taste it. Now with the raspberry, I was able to perceive sweetness better, and I wasn't able to pick up on its tartness very much. So when you don't have those aromatics, you don't get a complete flavor profile of the fruit. Let's try a blueberry. Let's try it without holding my nose first. Now the blueberry, this one is pretty sweet. Now let's see if I can detect that sweetness when I hold my nose. I could still detect the sweetness, but nothing else. It, it was almost like I had something in my mouth that was a little sweet, but I, I just couldn't tell it was a blueberry. Of course, blueberries, don't have as distinct of a flavor as say a strawberry or raspberry does. If you really want to get an idea what uh, a blueberry flavor is like, taste dried blueberries because all the water is removed for the most part or the majority of it and you get the distinct flavor of blueberry and it is very different than eating fresh blueberries. I actually prefer dried blueberries more than I prefer uh, fresh ones. Without the detection of volatile compounds, you cannot enjoy the full flavor of the berries. Now, these flavor components of the sweetness and the tartness and the aromatics and the bitterness can all be affected by things such as the genetics. In other words, as I mentioned earlier, the cultivar, but also the environment, weather, the climate, the soils, the cultural practices like fertility, irrigation, weed control, things of that sort, the level of maturity, and also your post-harvest handling can affect all of these different factors. 
Now there are other flavor components such as astringency and off flavors also which we'll talk about in a second. Now astringency are the components which mainly come from what we call tannins and other polyphenolic compounds which cause this feeling of dryness, roughening, or puckering of your mouth. And off flavors can be caused by over maturity or it might be that the fruit is starting to decay or the different storage conditions that they may have been exposed to. Now the flavor components that most people are concerned with are sweetness and tartness, especially the balance between the two. You've heard me talk about that when I was discussing apple cultivars. If berries are too tart like this one because it's not quite mature, then nothing else is really going to matter when it comes to fresh eating. And a bad experience is likely going to have an effect on whether or not you're going to purchase that fruit in the future. This is the most common consumer complaint about fresh fruits, especially when you're purchasing them out of season and the fruit is shipped from great distances. For instance, the strawberries, the blackberries, and the raspberries came all the way from Mexico. And we're, I'm doing this in Michigan, so that's a long way. And the blueberries here, these came from Chile. That's a long way to ship something. But blueberries ship well, so they can pick them more mature than, say, strawberries or raspberries or blackberries. Here's the bottom line. If you want fruits with the best flavor, try to buy them in season and from local growers. Another option is to learn how to grow some of these fruit yourself. One of the things I like to emphasize in my videos is how to grow quality fruit with good flavor. So hopefully you'll keep watching. Well, that's it for today. Remember, don't just sit there, get growing. This is Gary, be good.